The Place Academy was originally set up as a planning academy. We've renamed it because it's broadened its role now. So originally we were struggling to recruit planners. Uh, we are a very busy planning authority in the top 30 busiest planning authorities in the country. We've developed the Place Academy in a slightly different way than other authorities may have done because we provided effectively a, a structured training program. Uh, we took the decision to take out a principal planning officer from the day job, which obviously placed some pressure on her colleagues, but they saw the benefit of the investment of spending her time in terms of creating a structured training program. The idea of the Academy is to grow our own resources this was primarily due to a national shortage of planners. We trained them up. Uh, the idea is that they will then move in the structure to take on more senior roles. To do this, we do formal qualifications through using the apprenticeship levy or uh, where appropriate, maybe MVQs. And we also put in place formal training in-house to be able to support them. For coming into planning, I had an undergraduate degree with geography and at university I was interested in going into planning, but it was something that I never had the opportunity to do. Um, so I ended up working for Waitrose as a manager um, and decided that actually that wasn't for me. So when I saw there was an opportunity to come to CBC and get into planning where they would train me, I jumped at the chance. So I then, sponsored by CBC, did my masters at the University of Westminster, where I then worked part-time with the council and uh, they supported me and paid for my master's degree. The academy has been set up so that you can come in in a number of different routes. We've had graduates, non-graduates, and we've managed to develop programmes to be able to bring in a wider, diverse mix of staff. Qualifications and work experience are useful, but they're not the be-all and end-all for us at Central Bedfordshire Council. What we want is the right people in the right jobs. I didn't really know what to do straight after school, so I'd finished my A-levels, and I felt that I learned better, more hands-on. So I'd seen the apprenticeship available with the council and applied, and uh, here I am. I think the Place and Academy makes it easy for someone like me to start in planning. The mix of kind of younger staff and, and staff of all kind of backgrounds and professions previously, it gives a real mixed environment um, which benefits everyone because people have got experience from, from all different fields. To switch a career to planning without the Academy would still be possible, but what we've done is we've made it more possible because of the routes with non-degrees and also the support that we put in place. So people can come to us, we will put them through formal training and qualifications, but we also offer flexibility working. I personally completely changed career and I was a mum with just young children so the support that the Place Academy then gives you in allowing you to go out of work and go then get trained allows you to become the planner that you want to be. We've got mentors and line managers in place and we're really well staffed so we always have someone that we can turn to and ask questions that really helps with, with planning especially because everything is, is kind of decided and, and assessed on a case-by-case -case basis where nothing is the same. We value training at Central Bedfordshire because it's investing in the staff and also making them feel valued, giving them the opportunity to increase their skills and knowledge in all areas. The benefits of effectively investing in that long-term solution are certainly around saving on recruitment fees, having that longevity and robustness to the recruitment process, having that structured approach and having the ability to attract people in and give them the confidence that we're going to invest in their time and they will have time to develop. I think is really, really important. It's been unique in what we've done going forward. I'm doing something that I thoroughly love and enjoy and have a passion for. I think that always helps when you're, when you're really passionate about something. Um, doing a job in that field, it just makes it so much easier and, and more interesting on a day-to-day -day basis. I never dread going into work at all. I, I love going to work every day, helping the community and helping those that, that want their, their fancy extension or their, or their dream home. So it's, it's, a, great, it's a great job.